If you have any questions, you may ask. First of all, if you have any questions related to inheritance, interface, or, or polymorphism, you can ask. No questions? No. Okay. What about others? Miss Fatima, Miss Muna, do you have any questions? No, okay. Okay, there's some uh, internet connection problem. Miss Muna? Ms. Mona, are you there? Okay, no problem at all. Let's start our today's session then. Uh, today we will, yes, uh, I would like to ask you about the homework, but in the end. Uh, about homework, you may ask right now, no problem at all. If you want, you may ask now regarding homework. Doctor, do you hear me, Ms. Um, yeah, now I can hear you. Yes. Okay, Ms. Afrah, about the deadline of the homework, uh, it will be after two days. So I sent emails for you, but you didn't replay it for me. Uh, because today only, it will not be enough for us to, to solve three weeks for it. And we, until now, we didn't buy the book. We know that uh, just yesterday, the book, it's, uh, we can buy the code from outside. So we need, you know, today or tomorrow, we have to buy it. So if you can delay the deadline or... Uh, you want... Uh, you want me to extend the deadline of week one assignment or week two assignment? I don't know. One of them, it will be at 14, after two days. Okay, that means week one assignment. Okay, I'll extend the date. No problem at all. Yeah, please, for next week. And we, have, we, we need a lot, a lot of time because also the, um, the question we have to solve it one time only. If it's correct, okay, if it's not correct, we cannot re uh, resend uh, the answer. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. I'll if extend you can the date. Delay it for next week? Yeah, 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 sure. I'll extend the date. Okay, no thank problem you. at all. Okay, thank you. Uh, so now, uh, start our today's session. Uh, this is a programming example which is related to inheritance. This example we have discussed, but I want to show you again. Here we have created a class called animal. This is a class called animal, and this class is parent class. Now you can see second class called mammal. That means when you will that means when you will use Vue.js to write this program you will create a file okay you will create a class file by the name animal.java and you will write this code 
in that file. So first file, first class file will be named as animal.java. Now you will create second class file and it will be named as mammal.java. So in that file, class file, just write this code public class mammal extends animal. So here mammal is the child class and animal is the parent class. Now create second file in Vue.j and save it by name reptile.java. In that class file, write down this code public class reptile extends animal. Now create another class called dog which is the child class of mammal. Now inside this class declare the first of all main function, main method, then create object of first class that is animal. So here the object of animal class is A. Then create object of mammal class. So you have to write mammal m is equals to new mammal. So here m is the object of mammal class. Then create object of dog class that is D. Now write down system dot out dot print ln m instance of animal d instance of mammal and d instance of animal. So save this file by the name dog.java. So you can see here in this program we have created four class files. First file is named as animal.java, second file is named as mammal.java which consists of this code, third file is named as reptile.java and it consists of this code and finally dog.java and this is the code. Now when you will run this program the output will be true, true, true. That means M is an instance of animal since mammal class is the child class of this animal parent class. So the object that we have created for mammal class is an instance of animal parent class. So the output is true. Similarly, D instance of mammal because D is the object of dog class. Yes, instance of. It's a keyword. This one. Instance. Instance means here in case of inheritance what we are saying no 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 it's not extends Ex you see extent is used to inherit the properties of parent class if child class wants to inherit the properties of parent class it will use keyword extends instance of means that we are trying to show that the child class inherit the properties of parent class. So the child, only that child class will inherit which is a child of that particular class. That means it is an instance of that particular class. Then only it will inherit the properties of its parent class. So you will see the output is true. 
Now, finally, D is an instance of animal. Now, you can see D is the object of dog class, which is the child class of mammal. And mammal is a child class of animal. So, finally, we can say that dog class inherits the properties of animal class as well. That means it is an instance of animal class. So, the output is true. Is this clear? Good. Yes, what about others? Is it clear? Shall we move to the next program? Okay. Good. Okay, very clear. Good. Now, this was an example of inheritance. Now, let's see another example. Can you tell me this example is based on which concept of Java programming? Here we have three classes. This is class 1, that is employee. This is second class. This is second class salary. And this is third class virtual demo. Okay. I will give you some time. Go through this program. And can you tell me this program is based on inheritance? It uses the concept of inheritance, yes, because we have, you can see over here, we have salary extends employee. So obviously, salary is the child class of employee parent class. So it is inheritance. Okay. But go through this program and find out what will be the output. Once you will find out the output, you will come to know on which programming concept this program is based on. So I'll give you some time. I'll give you five minutes for each slide. Okay. Go through this slide. Then I'll switch on to next slide. Again, I'll give you five minutes. And then finally, third slide, I'll give you five minutes. So that means I'll give you 15 minutes for this. Go through it. Try to find out the output of this program. And then tell me on which programming concept this program is based on. Shall we move to next slide? Uh, uh, yeah, homeworks. Yeah, that will not be marked as late. I will extend the date of first week homework. Okay. It will be extended till next week. No problem at all. And uh, yes, about third week assignment, I'll, uh, I'll put a deadline for that also. Uh, it will not be for unlimited uh, period of time. And week one assignment, uh, I'll extend the date of week one assignment. Shall I move to next slide?
Shall I move to next slide? Okay. Now this is next slide. Go through the code. Now let's move to third slide. Now go through this code and te tell me what will be the output of this program. Okay, mail check using salary reference. Okay, after that, call mail check using employee reference. So, this is the output, only this will be the output. Only this will be the output or there will be something else. Within mail check of salary class, mailing check, okay, what else? Okay, can you tell me this program is based on which programming concept? Inheritance, just inheritance or any other thing also? Scanner. Okay, I'll, I'll give you, okay, see, so far we have discussed inheritance, interface, polymorphism. Okay, now can you tell me this program is based on inheritance or on polymorphism or on interface? Inheritance, only inheritance. Only inheritance, interface, interface also. Now, can you tell me in this program where I have used the keyword interface? Have I used this keyword interface anywhere? No. So, in the first class, in the first class, okay, let's move to previous slide. See, is there any interface? 
declaration use return method okay i'll show you the output of this program and then tell me okay i'll show you the output of this program and then tell me on which programming concept this program is based on this is the output it is based on it is based on method overriding that means polymorphism this program is based on yes polymorphism or you can say more specifically method overriding because if you see the output of this program first of all it will print call mail check using salary reference now why it will print this output why it will print this output because let's see this slide here inside main method what we have we have created object of salary class we have created object of employee class and then we have a statement system dot out dot print ln call mail check using salary reference so first of all this statement will be printed that's why we have this statement call mail check using salary reference first of all now what will happen now it will call this object as dot mail check so we are calling mail check method by using object s now what is there inside mail check method let's move to previous slide so this is the mail check method of salary class now what is written here system dot out dot print ln within mail check of salary class within mail check of salary class now this statement will be printed within mail check of salary class now see what will happen now next is system dot out dot print ln mailing check to so first of all this is printed mailing check to you can see mailing check to then
plus get name plus get name now what is there in get name you can see the name is this one with salary so this name will be printed and then with salary will be printed because here we have plus get name no not john only this name because you see this is salary class and s is the object of salary class so here we have s dot mail check not e dot mail check it's not e dot mail check it's s dot mail check so the name is this one and then this string is printed with salary and then we have plus salary now what is salary salary is this one so it will print 3600 this is the output any questions till now any questions now next is system dot out dot print ln call mail check using employee reference so this is printed first of all call mail check using employee reference now what is done mail check method of employee class is called e dot mail check now we will move to the mail check method of employee class now you can see here because mail check method of employee class contains only name and address but here we have name can see a string name when we have a string address so this is address then we have number and then salary these this means that four arguments are passed and here we have four arguments name address number and salary likewise we have name address 
number and salary. So what will happen? This method is overridden by the method of child class salary. So instead of calling the method of parent class, the method of child class will be called. So the output will be within mail check of salary class. within mail check of salary class and then mailing check to so mailing check to then name so the name in employee class is John Adams John Adams will be printed then we have with salary a string with salary string is printed and then plus salary now the salary is 2400 so the output is 2400 so you can see within mail check of salary class here we have within mail check of salary class here it should be employee class but still we have salary class that means the method of child class overrides the method of parent class and this is what we call method overriding and it is a concept of polymorphism so this program is based on polymorphism or you can say method overriding any questions clear good yes others what about others is this program clear to you good yes okay Okay, I will upload these slides on Blackboard. Now see this example. Can you tell me this example is based on which programming concept? This is last example, third example. interface exactly this is based on interface because you can see we have used keyword interface over here so this is based on interface can you tell me what will be the output of this program go through this program and tell me what is the output of this program Mammal eats, okay. So 
so the output will be only mammal eats mammal travels yes yes the output is mammal eats and mammal travels good yes mammal eats mammal travels so this is a very simple program based on inheritance where we have created an inherit interface co uh, sorry this is a simple example based on interface where we have created an interface called animal here we have two methods called eat and travel then what we have done we have created a class called mammal int okay and it implements the interface called animal inside class we have given the definition of the two methods void travel and void eat so these are the statements that will be printed when these methods are called and inside main method we have created an object of class mammal int and then we call these two methods one by one so when m dot eat is called this statement will be printed so the string is mammal eats and when m dot travel is called the string called mammal travels is printed so the output will be mammal eats mammal travels so in today's session we have discussed programming examples related to interface inheritance and polymorphism if you have any question you may ask Thank you all of you. Assalamu alaikum.